Well, they're saying it's supposed to be a historic storm calling for 30 to 36 inches in our area. It's a big storm, but we are kind of at the epicenter. So I feel like the next 48 hours could be somewhat interesting. As of right now, it's just raining, which is really weird because I haven't seen rain in a while. But that's about it. We'll see. 5 p.m. Saturday night. This doesn't look that bad. It's just typical snow. I know you can't see the snow falling because of the camera, but it is falling. The wind isn't blowing, so right now this is just looking like a regular old snowstorm. It's heavy. There's a lot of moisture in it. Good. Still feels like it's coming down pretty slow, so. See what it looks like in the morning. It's about 8 o'clock right now. Go around the other door, Turbo. Go to the mudroom, buddy. So it is 7 o'clock, and here is where we are. You can see we got quite a bit of snow build up last night. It's hard for you to tell how deep it is on video, but it's deep. You can check out those railings to see how much, at least a foot. So we woke up, the power in our bedroom wasn't working, so we thought the power was off, but then there were lights working in other parts of the house, so we think there was some sort of surge with the electricity. So, I don't know. Well, that's nice. Okay, here we go. Should be fun. Oh, Dozer's like up to his. Dozer's like almost covering his legs. Ah, oh, Dozer. Oh, my God. Why am I here? I don't know where the stairs are. I'm not actually walking downstairs. <laughs> Just a lot of snow, and it's 8 o'clock, and it's supposed to continue to snow all day long. So the accumulation tonight could be impressive. It's easily up past the tops of my boots. A little crowded in here. Nobody wants to be outside. Need to get that door shut. Okay, make sure you fill up the water tank super full in case the power goes out and then we have a hard time with water later, okay? We want to be ready. Okay? Mm -hmm. Can you get through that? I don't know. Maybe. I'm just trying to find the little feed pan that we put our chicken scraps in. You can't get the gate open? How'd you get them out? I had to barely dig it out. Polar bear. He is like a polar bear. He's eating his grain. This is the show steer, so. How does this? Still got a lot of snow coming in that door even though we shut it. So the horses have access to the barn at night if they want it. They don't need it necessarily. Um, I say this every time I do a video in the snow with animals. These animals are designed to be outside in bad weather. As long as they have enough hay to eat, they are fine, just like deer or elk or buffalo would have been back in the day. So they do just fine. When you see snow on their backs, it actually means that their body is doing its job. It's only when it starts melting is that means they're poorly insulated. So these guys are just fine. And it's really not that cold out here right now. It's just a lot of snow, just a lot of quantity. The goats are all cozy and happy. I'd say it's still not as bad yet, at least, as that bomb cyclone storm we had two years ago. I mean, that I couldn't even walk outside with my eyes open, so this is practically tropical. So the snow avalanched off the roof, and it's a big old drift. It's gonna not be melting for a while. You got your goggles on? Art. It's 
So it is about five o'clock. We are headed out to see if we can make it to the barn to do the chores. Christian did a little shoveling. See how long that lasts. There's no stairs anymore, guys. You just have to walk straight across. No stairs. No, it's pretty but still coming down. I'd say we have over two feet at this point. I'm pretty sure this is breaking some records. Thankfully, the wind is not blowing super hard. If you guys remember my bomb cyclone video from a couple years ago, the wind blew while it snowed and that was just brutal. But I think this storm may have more snow. I think it have, may have more snow than the bomb cyclone storm. Normally don't let them climb on gates, but all the doors are snowed shut, so today's the exception. Okay. It's kind of crazy, hanging off the side. What do you think, Sage? So Mesa put her 4-H steer in the barn. He would have been just fine outside, but... She's spoiling them just a little bit. It's amazing how not cold it is. Uh, I don't even have gloves on because I'm running the camera and it doesn't feel horrible. Not like it did a couple weeks ago when it was 20 below. So a lot of times when I post about our big storms on social media, people say things like, oh, I'm so sorry, or that's so horrible. But really this is what we need right now and this will help us have really green pastures this spring. So this is actually a really good thing slightly inconvenient, but I don't know. We like the adventure, I guess. Are you dig you're digging for the chickens? No, they're not picking in there. No. Oh, what are you digging for? This for fun? Digging out the door? The so hey, we can come out the dark and uh, sink into the snow. Oh, okay. So it's the next day, the storm is over, and now it's time to dig out. Were you climbing on the edge of the stock tank? Mm-hmm. Huh. Did you like just get your feet in the stock tank or all of you? Um. Lovely. I'll put those in the dryer. Put your boots by the fire. Maybe just we'll wash those pants. It's my child to fall in the stock tank in the middle of the blizzard. I don't even know how that happened. So it's hard to tell exactly how much we got because it kind of blew as it came in. So some is drifted and areas are taller than others. But I think we're close to 30 inches according to the last weather report I saw. So I've had a few people ask how we actually do it, like how we keep our homestead running in the middle of a weather event like this. Um, there's a few things we take into consideration. So we always fill our water tanks up extra high right before a storm and then hope that the hydrants don't freeze. And we also have tank heaters in these tanks to keep the water from freezing completely solid. Big thing is to make sure you unhook your hoses and roll them up because if they're under the snow right now, like it'll be a month before we can find them. Horses and cattle, they usually do just fine as long as they have enough hay, and these guys have wind breaks, so they're doing good. I would go over there, but I don't feel like climbing the snow drift, so it's always kind of cool to see what the drifts do. Pretty fancy. We couldn't get down to our big herd of cows yesterday. Like, you just physically couldn't drive down the roads. However, Christian was able to plow a path down the road in the skid loader and check them today. Thankfully, we didn't have any calves born during the storm. We're still at the early parts of calving, which is a blessing. And they had brought the heifers in close to a shed right before the storm hit. So everybody is doing great. So 
Sometimes we lose power in these storms, sometimes we don't. Thankfully this storm, so far we haven't lost any power, but sometimes when the power does go out out here, it takes a long time for the crews to get power lines because it's, everything is isolated. That's one of the big reasons we got our wood stove so many years ago. We like it for a lot of reasons, but it's really nice to have that extra reassurance that we can stay warm even if there's no power. Another piece that's really important to us is having a gas stove, not an electric one. So if the power does go out, we can still cook. I mainly will just use the cooktop um, and I can light that with a match. I know the instruction manual says not to do that, but I do it anyway and I'm very careful, so don't worry. So you can just walk right over the yard fence, right there. That's our split rail. Kind of handy, I guess. <laughs> Garden is buried. 